And we have new details tonight on a double homicide that happened over the weekend in Pawnee County. District Attorney Mike Fisher says one of the two suspects has been released from jail after witnesses say he was not the person who stabbed the two victims to death. News on Six's Ashland brothers talked to relatives of one of the victims about their loss. Ashland. Craig and Lori, Kyle McClary's aunt and grandfather say they're at a loss for words and are begging anyone with information about this case to come forward. Tragedy takes on many forms. I can't even begin to think about it. Kyle McClary's aunt and grandfather say the past few days have been a whirlwind of emotions. They felt anger, pain, confusion. He's just like a son to me. I just love him to death. <laughs> Nobody should have to die the way him and his friend did. It's just not right. Deputies say 34-year-old Kyle McClary and another man were stabbed to death outside Kyle's home during a fish fry at Edgewater RV Park Saturday night. Reports show Isaiah Lopez later turned himself in at the Oklahoma City Jail. I'm old school, and the Bible tells us it's an eye for an eye. Robbie Kinney says her nephew was a lifelong entrepreneur. He worked hard every day for everything he had. Kyle owned the Keystone Lake Bait and Store and was about to start a fishing guide service. Every time I'd go up to see him, that's the first thing we'd start doing, talk about hunting or fishing. He was probably the most humble person I knew. He just took care of people. He, he liked doing it. Kenny says Kyle was a great dad and husband. Two little girls are going to go to prom and graduation and get married and have babies. But they ain't going to have a father. And that's not fair. She knows Kyle is watching over them, but says she'll never get over this. I'm selfish, but I wasn't ready for him to go yet. Neither is his mother. I know my sister wasn't ready. You're not supposed to bury your kids. Isaiah Lopez is in the Pawnee County Jail on a $2 million bond. Ashland Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.